I found these side tables on Facebook Marketplace. They look a bit rough, but when I picked them up, I knew they were a quality set. The brand is American of Martinsville. They've been in operation since 1906 and are still producing furniture today for hotel and healthcare industries. Out of curiosity, I wondered what paint had been used on them, so I took a trip to the store and located what I think is the closest match. These tables are very simple in their design, and the flat edges makes it a bit easier to restore. Based off of my research of this set online, I know that there are different directional veneers on this piece, so I'm going to start off by stripping instead of using a paint scraper. I don't want to risk gouging the veneer or tearing the wood grain. I used Stripwell's QCS Stripper as I wanted to give it a good test on spray paint. This is an eco-friendly stripper that you just spray onto the surface and let it work its magic. The wait time is about 30 minutes before you start to remove the finish, but depending upon the humidity and finish type, this can vary. The key is not to rush the process. Once it's ready, the finish should just slide right off. 4 aught steel wool is then used to collect any bits of that finish that may have been left on the surface. To neutralize the stripper, just spray the surface with water and wipe it off with a towel. I like to use this time to see if there's any existing finish pieces left on the surface and either reapply stripper or wait and sand it off later, depending upon the piece. I chose to strip the bottom of the side tables. There was a lot of overspray from the spray paint on the wood and the metal brackets. Most people won't see this when the side tables are in use, but when you are looking into flipping furniture for a profit, this is a good measure to take. The customer is going to have to load the piece into their vehicle and will likely see the underside.
I sanded the piece with 180 grit, and in areas where the original finish hadn't quite come off, I used 150 grit and then 180 grit. On the legs, I did use my orbital sander, but I was careful to keep the sander moving in order for the legs to maintain their shape. The legs appear to be solid elm. I was pleasantly surprised that with the exception of small scratches and dents, the paint didn't get into the wood grain. My assumption is that this table was painted with no preparation using spray paint so I only had a few areas where the paint had settled into the grain. To stain the piece, I chose General Finish's Candlelight Gel Stain. I'm going to use a foam brush for this because there are areas that this is going to be able to coat better instead of just wiping it on with a shop rag. It's easier to also get the tops of the drawers and the bottoms of the drawers using a foam brush. Gel stain can take a long time to dry, especially in humid conditions. To help speed up that process, I typically will turn on my dehumidifier in the garage, which speeds up the dry time. You don't want to apply a finish to gel stain if it's not dry. This can create more problems like cloudy finishes later on. The handles needed a refresher as well. I looked at the original side tables and saw that the poles were silver, so I sprayed them with some clean metal primer, and then I used titanium silver spray paint. Once that was all dried, I sealed them with a clear coat. For the finish, I chose to use lacquer. Lacquer is a very picky finish to use when it's humid and you're not able to blend the lacquer with other products to control blushing, which is what happens when moisture gets trapped in the finish. I do tend to use lacquer on smaller fixes because most furniture is finished using a lacquer, and I do like the feel of this finish. However, to spray this as my finish, I had to keep my garage door closed the entire time and the dehumidifier on until the finish had hardened up. For my final touches to the piece, I cleaned the inside of the drawers with some Murphy's oil soap and then I applied Howard's Feed and Wax to all the raw wood surfaces.
These tables were blue. Coastal themed, it's true. But now they look brand new. Hopefully you watch this video all the way through.